seconds away. I don't know what those are. Another Sephiroth scene! Another one! Yes! Oh, we saw this one already, but I think it does contribute to the percentage, I hope. Alright, octa slash this snail here. Did I ever get the lucky sevens and have that seven? Of course. Yes, I did. It's a pretty easy way to do that, if you can actually do it yourself. Um, basically what you do is... There's a certain material combination. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But you put a certain amount of material or a certain material on your slots or on your equipment to have yourself um, get like just above 7,000. Well, there's a couple methods. This is one. Just above 7,777 hit points. And then you go into a battle um, right around the midbar, like one of the early battles. Where um, and you put yourself in the back row, and also put defend, like you know, choose defend for your character, and hope that the enemies start doing one damage to you, and then you can actually manipulate the game so that way, as soon as you get uh, your help, your HP down to 7,777, if all enemies attacks are doing one damage, you just run, you escape the battle, and then um, basically it will. I think when you escape the battle, you lose the all lucky seven status, but your HP. No, I'm confusing. I'm confusing two different methods. There's a way to do it so that you have like 1,777, for instance, and you use keep keepies and high potions to increase your um, HP by 500 until you get to 7,777. I forget how you set that up. But then there's another one, the method I told you about. Um, Getting your HP just over it, and then having you, you know, having them take you down to 7,777. But that only lasts for that same battle that you're in. The, the better method to do it is to try to equip materia, so that way your health is something, something, you know, some whatever thousand doesn't matter, but 777 at the end. And then basically you just heal yourself with um, high potions until it gets to 7,000. But I don't know, it's more involved than that. I'm just going off a of memory from 1997. <laughs> Alright. You can probably Google search it quickly and get a much easier and more clear explanation of that than the one I just gave you. Holy crap, by the way, how many of these are there? I'm still in this mission. Going off of a memory. What's that? Rob is going off of a memory from like probably months before I was born. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that I'm still in this battle, by the way. That entire story was like... I just told that whole thing, and I'm still in this battle with these snails. And I got another Sephiroth scene, by the way. It's the same one, but yeah, no it's, it's adding to its, its percentage, I hope. I'm not even really trying to dodge anymore, I'm just like mashing X so that I can <laughs> die, snails. Yeah, seriously, this is crazy how many there are. And here comes more. There's gotta be some, I mean, 
I know I'm not doing anything wrong, I'm sure this is the mission, but there are so many of them. Oh good, let's get an airstrike. Come on, son. Give me an airstrike. Don't give him the airstrike. Oh, Conray! You made the knock in the airstrike. You don't deserve it. <laughs> good. Make him work for it. What a freaking mission. Oh my god, there's so many. How many do you think we killed so far? Over 30. By the way, um... Moobot is pretty easy to set up a pole, right? Yeah. Because I saw on the Moobot dashboard, I basically just... I haven't tried it yet, but I could just basically create a pole. Put the answers in. Oh my god, we're, we finished. We're done. Oh. Yeah, I can do it midstream for you. Oh, you can do it in the midstream. Okay, cool. Yeah, Not that I need one right now, but just so I know for future, you know. Wait, well, because yeah, I'm an editor, I can just go in there and do anything while you're streaming. Awesome, okay. Uh, really got a mithril from that? That took forever and I got mithril. Alright, we're definitely saving after that. Alright. Okay, is it a vacation uh, yet? It's actually hard. But I don't know if the enemies that are going to be in here cast the death spell. As long as they don't cast death, I'm fine. I'm gonna try it. As a token of our appreciation for defending its image, here's a permit for one last vacation at Costa del Sol. We're sorry to say this is your last one. Alright, let's try it. Hopefully, it's not the enemies that cast death. Here at last, Costa del Sol this is the vacation I deserve. What the? Just look at that thing. It might be the end for Costa del Sol. Oh, it's a awesome. He doesn't cast death. It's a behemoth. Dang it, how dare they ruin my vacation. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. I just have to stay behind him and get all criticals as much as I can. Good luck. Playing a behemoth. He's no joke, this thing. I mean, it's a behemoth. When has anything ever and anything ever that's been named behemoth been a joke? <laughs> I think, uh, you ever played Fallout 3? No. Uh, well, at uh, the beginning, near a radio tower, I think there's a giant super mutant, and I believe his name is the Behemoth as well. Oh, yeah. He's so fast, that's the problem. Oh, my God. Oh, good, Aerith. Come on, Aerith. Line up. Line up, please. Give him all the HP. Yes. Nice. Well, she heals me, and plus I've become invincible for a short time with this. That's kind of Thanks. Invincible. Punch him. It's funny you say that, Tricky Jockin, because eventually I will get a skill that's the best skill in this game called Costly Punch. That literally is a punch, and it does the most damage in the entire game with every attack. So that's all you'll see me doing. Once I get Costly Punch, you'll never see me swing the sword again. It'll all be punches every attack. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's literally what happens. It, oh, every attack that I do will be punches. Here we go. Go, go, go. Like on every enemy. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> so enjoy this umbrella swinging and sword swinging now, because when we get to the end game, it's just all gonna be punches. Buster sword becomes decorative. It just becomes a decoration, yeah. Oh wow. Come on, give me three angels. Oh, we got a new Geo sequence. Nice. This might be the last one, actually. He was at 90%. You've been training hard, I hope. You bet. I leveled up and everything. Then let's see the fruits of your labor. This is your data from last month. Alright, prepare to be trounced last month's data. Wow, that's cool. He actually fights himself. No improvement whatsoever. Training's over. Maybe I should leave him with Sephiroth for a while. <laughs> Alright, nice. Prove your 
your honor to me. Hopefully that was his last scene that we needed to see. We'll check after this. <laughs> Why do you exist? Why does he exist? I'm just minding my own business, you know, doing things that I do. Right. And then a giant griffin comes out of nowhere. <laughs> and he tries to land on me. And then he just flies away like nothing happened. I don't get why he is so freaking hard. And mine has so much health. Ow. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh my god! Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh, <laughs> well, we have to steal from him then. Let's see what he's got. Iron Bang. Rob, the king of being over dramatic about things. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse actually than it was. Oh good, let's throw you some meteors of our own here. We're not. Oh but I did level up, cool. I am now level 36. Oh my god, dude, he does so much damage. I just see him like tail swing you and you take hundreds of damage. We got this though, right? Right. Oh, another meteorite, come on! Woo! It makes you feel better because you're so bad at games and well known, nobody judges you if you die. I won't die. Uh-huh. Crisis averted. Now back to fun in the sun. Let me kill a behemoth with an umbrella and then do squats by myself on the beach. What a vacation! <laughs> Woo! After fighting like 90 snails. I got an adamantite. Nice. Okay. Got 99 problems and snails are every snails single one. Snails are everyone, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're done with those Fun in the Sun mission lines. Because I think I didn't get any new mission after that, so I think we're finally done and we can go back to the story here. You sure about that, Rob? I think so. We're going to give it one more look and, and we're also going to see if Angel's uh, BMW is at 100% now. Alright, let's see if Angel's. Uh, BMW's at 100. Oh, it's still only 90. Boo, that sucks. Alright. Well, we'll get there. Eventually. We will get there. Alright, let's do a quick look at the missions here, and then I think we're ready to... We're still 38%, but... Yeah, I have a few missions that are labeled hard, but again, I don't know if in those missions... There's going to be death spells, so I'm not going to do them. Um, yeah. Alright, some of them that were very hard are now hard, but I don't know if there's going to be death spells. So we'll wait to do those until I get uh, an accessory that prevents death. Okay, so we got the wood. Where am I headed after this? Did you get the tires? No. There you go. And that is where I forget. Loveless Avenue, man next to a truck. Loveless Avenue, that's right. I actually did remember that. Yeah, I know, I don't know why you asked. I forgot. It was too much, too many missions in between. 